A couple months ago, I heard for the first time that you could build fully custom websites using AI. At the time, my brain really still couldn't comprehend that, and I kind of thought it would be a gimmick, but then I just kept hearing about it. Mark Andreessen started talking about how 10-year-old kids are building apps and showing the tools they were using. I knew nothing other than that there was an app called Replit, and it allowed you to build without any coding knowledge. One night, I gave Replit a shot and was pretty amazed at what you could do. I made a simple website for my business, and I did it in 20 minutes with just my words. Building a website is just scratching the surface of what you can do with these tools, but nonetheless, it did help me learn them. These tools are marketed towards computer illiterate people like myself, but there was still a learning curve. I would say this technology is still the frontier, and most people will still be overwhelmed by it. Just you watching this video means you're ahead of most people. I've probably tinkered with these things for 50 hours now, so I'm going to walk through and show you how to build, deploy a website using V0, Cursor, and GitHub pages. V0 is like a personal creative agency. Cursor is like a personal software developer. GitHub pages is where the smart people host and share their code, but it's also a web hosting service. Build just means create. Deploy just means share to the web. All of this I'm showing you took me weeks to figure out. That is the simplest way I can put it, but you can follow along and I'll go through all of that here. Okay, so this is V0. It's a really simple layout. You just have your chat up here and you have some templates down here. Maybe to make this even simpler, I'm going to go through some of these templates down here created by other people using V0. Creative agency portfolio. This one's kind of cool. I like the way this scrolls, but I don't necessarily like the style and aesthetic. I might just start from this. So I'm going to open in V0, and I'm going to build my website off of this just for simplicity. I want to turn this site into a portfolio. I want to turn this site into a portfolio for my freelance video business. I like the general framework of this site, but want to change the look to feel more minimalist and clean. That's all I'm going to give it for now. Okay, so based on two sentences, it spit this out. Change the whole look. And I kind of like it. Frame by Frame Studios, crafting compelling visual stories that captivate audiences and elevate your brand through cinematic video production. Even that is like, it's like a pretty good little bio. So what I'm gonna do now is go in and tweak all this to make it actually fit my business. Where it says, frame by frame studios, make it say, I'm Liam. And then it spit that out in, you know, 15, 20 seconds. Hey, I'm Liam. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and change all of the fonts now. Change all headings to Helvetica. Change all body text to Fira code regular. Get rid of the text that says this and where and button that says explore collection. Replace it with my real. That probably took a minute and a half. Featured reel. Okay. Get rid of the featured reel text and description. Have the video take up the whole width of the site, have it automatically play without having to hit a button. Get rid of the white border. Cool. Still has a white border, which I don't like. Add four thumbnail video previews with these links. 
That was quick. Okay, so that's what it gave me. Those are a little small. And then this white border is still here. White border around real still needs to go or be black. For featured videos, make them bigger by 50%. Have two, how do I say this? Put two next to each other and two below that. That should do it. I'm going to search this website called Godly for a little bit of inspiration, maybe. This website just shows a bunch of different websites that you can draw inspiration from. So I'm going to look through here and just dream a little bit. That's kind of cool. This is really cool. I don't know if I'll be able to build this, but interesting. This one in particular I thought was really cool. Where you kind of scroll through. That one's really cool. Okay, so it... I did what I wanted, making these like 50% bigger and kind of filling up the whole frame. It's actually, you know, the exact same kind of thing as my website, just a little bigger. I'm going to add in my headshot for here and kind of get rid of this other stuff. So get rid of view my work slash get in touch, add my headshot where the video box is instead. Now I'm just kind of fine tuning it. I'm going to keep this website really simple. I'll just keep a short let's work together section with my email to keep it simple. For this I just more want to show what you can do and then how to actually deploy it. So up here you can see this button called deploy and now it's deploying this to Vercel. V0 is just a branch of Vercel. You could host this using v0, but because I want to do this for free, I want to deploy it to GitHub pages instead. So what I'm going to do is download this as a zip file, and that zip file will come up here in my downloads, Creative Agency Portfolio. However, if you want to keep this simple and just pay v0 to do this, you can buy a domain and then have the domain hosted on v0. So here we have Cursor, which is another service that is 20 bucks a month. However, there's a two week free trial, which I did, and I was able to make my website using this all for free. I do pay for both of these now, but only because I think it's pretty fun to mess with this. So I'm gonna open a new project, put it in my folder that I call create under web test v2. Open. So I'm gonna tell this I'm just going to tell this agent what I want. I like the Claude 3.7 thinking model. I feel like that's the best. I want to, I'm going to tell it to adjust this code base to work as an HTML website on GitHub pages. And I'm going to drag and drop this folder in there. So now I have that folder that says creative agency portfolio and that's just all I'm going to say. When you do your initial prompt, tell it that you want to adjust the code to TypeScript and not HTML. But nonetheless, I'm just telling it to fix it and I think it should be able to do it. Perfect, you successfully converted. So it's going to give me a local host version of the site and the local host version is all jacked up. So I might have to restart this whole process. I want to take this code and deploy it to GitHub pages as a website. Tweak the code to be able to do this. Drop that file, that zip file in here, and just to send a link. This code to my repository called this. 
Okay, it says it pushed all of this to GitHub now. I've already linked my GitHub account to Cursor, so I can't really show you how to do that, but I figured it out if you want to search another YouTube video to figure that out. It's not very hard. This program is so good, it will kind of guide you through that whole process. So now it's telling me the code has been successfully pushed and it should all exist in GitHub right now. So now it's saying my site should be live. Let's see about that. We're going to go to code and I don't really see anything in here yet. So I didn't see any code in there. I'm going to tell it that I don't see any code in my repository yet. Now it's saying it worked. It says it has too many active changes. Only a subset of features were enabled. Sure. Okay, so now it deployed all of that to GitHub. I'm gonna hit none. Then save it again. Now when I go over here into settings, pages, I can click visit site and it's all up. That is, I'm always just blown away when it does this. It's crazy. This whole thing has kind of been my obsession over the last few weeks. In the evening, instead of watching YouTube or reading or whatever, I've just been vibe coding. I feel like social media allowed anyone to become a creator and the new AI tools allow anyone to create anything. I'll just let you sit with that for now.